I most like to be surprised. I to not know where the story is going. The sound of the key turning in the lock when my wife or, or one of my kids comes home. When I'm trying to parallel park and I hear a crunch. I think silence is good if I'm trying to write something, but I have to say growing up in New York and being a lifelong New Yorker, noise doesn't bother me, doesn't distract me, I don't mind it. I'm such a listener to the radio, but also when I was a kid, I used to listen religiously to Garrison Keillor and Prairie Home Companion. His voice and his ability to draw an audience in and storytell, I, I have to say, of all the impacts that maybe have been the greatest. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. Certainly, the part that we always hear excerpted is incredible, but to listen to it in its entirety is just completely captivating, completely emotional, but also completely, it continues to open my mind every time I hear it. To feel like the, the author's nudging me too hard to convince me and to get me to think what he or she thinks. I love description, I love witty dialogue, I love plot twists, but the thing that I respond to in a book or in a play or in a movie is the characters. I do like the sound of my voice. I think there's a lot of life in it, and I think there's a lot of um, reaching out to the listener. Um, and I think it's a very young sounding voice, actually, even though I'm not young anymore. Other actors that I, I admire and I aspire to be like them and to have one of them give me a compliment um, is just, it's just incredible and you feel like you won, you won the jackpot. Doing well at what is placed in front of you or what you can reach out and grab but also that you uh, keep moving forward and you aspire to a little bit more and you try to do things um, that you haven't done before that maybe that scare you and you know, you might not get an A plus every time on them, but at least you think, ah, I, I, I gave it my best shot and I'm glad I did it. The balance that I have between my personal life and my professional life. Um, and I, I feel like that's such a hard thing um, particularly when you've been a child actor, and I think I'm I'm very happy. During non-COVID times, I'm on the subway pretty much every day. A great meal, whether it's a home-cooked meal or a, a meal out, and it would definitely involve um, a night or an afternoon at the theater, seeing a play or seeing a musical.